friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, boy, have I been counting down to the making of this video because we have a huge announcement, a brand new product on the market. I kind of teased you guys on Instagram when I said something big is coming, save your coins. If you saw that story, this is what I was talking about. This moment right here. Drum roll, please. Introducing Curl Smith's new blow dryer and diffuser. <laughs> Things you didn't know you needed. A blow dryer diffuser from Curl Smith. Let's get into it. First of all, I know you see it. I know you see the largest. This is not a close up, like blown up picture of the diffuser to make it look bigger. It's like literally this big. This is the Curlsmith Defrision. Maybe if you're French, you'd say Curlsmith Defrision. I like Defrision better. I personally would probably call it the Curlsmith Mumbo Jumbo Blow Dryer Diffuser because this is the largest diffuser on the market. And I can confirm that because I've never seen a diffuser this large. Now I wanted to do a whole like pretty unboxing for you guys, but I was too excited and I wanted to start using it and get, you know, a real opinion on it, try it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, so it's already out the box because I've been playing with it. So here she is in her truest form. Look at the size of this. It's as large as my face. It looks like a bowl of ramen noodles. It's insane. Like, I can hide from people with this. It looks like a weapon to shoot aliens or something. But it's actually kind of genius because they made it this large to hold all of our hair when we're diffusing or just to really get some good coverage when you're hovering. There's just so many uses of a large diffuser like this, we're gonna get into all the details. Not only did Curlsmith give us their own blow dryer diffuser, they also have a new product, which is their Miracle Shield, a heat protectant. Guilty as charged. I do not use a heat protector on my hair when I'm diffusing, but I really should. Like we are adding heat, we're not straightening our hair, but there is still heat being blown onto our curls. So if you could protect it, you should. And I, I don't do that, I don't know why I don't. I just think about it like when I'm straightening my hair, which is, you know, 50 years ago. But I need to start using this. So this is a really good idea and it protects you from six different types of damage. I bet you didn't even know there were six different types of damage because I didn't until I read the box. But before we get into using all the new things, let me just start with my hair so we can start diffusing. Anytime I test a diffuser or a blow dryer, I wanna see how long it takes to go from like wet hair, day one hair, to dry. And we're gonna time it and see how fast this diffuser really diffuses. So let me just re-wet my hair because I did my makeup and it got a little dry. We're starting off on freshly washed day one hair. All right, now that my hair is wet again, I'm going to apply my styling products. I'm going to be using, which has become my like go-to cocktail lately, which is the Curlsmith Fragrance Free Shine Cream, their leave-in conditioner. It's very lightweight and it doesn't have a scent. I was trying to think like, what is my favorite Curlsmith combo? And you know, I love the Weightless Air Dry Cream and the Flexi Jelly, but then I remembered how good the hold is on the Souffle. So I was like, well, maybe I would do the Weightless Air Dry Cream and the Souffle as my favorite. But then they dropped these new products and I've been grabbing for these because of the shine. So, I mean, there's just so many options, but lately, if you've seen any good hair days on my Instagram, it was probably this mix. A little bit more green with this side. Leave-in, check. This is how you know I like these products because I'm using a leave-in now. Like, who is she? I'm also grabbing the Shine Gel the level nine strong hold. If you haven't tried this yet, I would say it's a, if you like the in shower style fixer, you'll probably like this one or maybe even like it better because it's one step lighter of a hold than the in shower. So if the in shower is a little too much for you sometimes or has too much hold, you can try this one. I do always recommend using a gel when you're gonna diffuse because you are gonna blow some air on there. You don't wanna create any frizz. So if you could have a nice strong base of a gel to create that cast that some of you are so afraid of, 
your curls will turn out even better. I usually even let my hair air dry first, like to a good, I don't know, at least 80%. So the cast forms and then I diffuse. But for the sake of today's video, I wanna see how well this blow dryer does going from wet hair to dry. I do a little flip. Now that I've applied my gel, let's grab the new Miracle Shield. It says, apply on wet hair as part of your styling routine after your regular leave-in conditioner, but before your styling products. Oops. <laughs> really? I feel like I've been using this as my last step. Hmm. Spritz all over the hair to fully saturate it, rake through, then scrunch to encourage curl formation. Follow with your favorite stylers, then dry as usual. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll experiment with the using it in the middle, but let me just apply it on top of the gel. That's what I've been doing. And then maybe I'll add some more gel on top. So it's a very light mist. It smells really good. It smells like the rest of the strength line if you've smelled that before. Very like fruity. Um, it says protection for all hair types. Guava, fruit juice, squeezed olives, torn kale leaves, prickly pear pulp, ground pumpkin seed, pressed cranberry oil, shiitake mushrooms, vegan, cruelty-free, no sulfates, no silicone, it's an eight fluid ounce bottle. So here it says it protects you from all six harsh hair aggressors. I was trying to think if I even knew of six different forms of damage, but then when I read this, I was like, oh, that makes sense. So this will protect you from UV rays, the sun, chlorine, the pool, styling, like tugging or putting your hair up into a slick ponytails, Heat tools, straighteners, blow dryers, seawater, and brushing. Well, there you go. And that's why they call it a miracle shield. But now that it says to follow with your favorite stylers, kind of makes me want to add a little more gel. This wasn't supposed to be an experimental video, but <laughs> here we go. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on top just to make sure that we don't get any frizz from diffusing. You know I'm not afraid to hold. That's for sure. So here's the blow dryer. We have off, low, and high fan speed. So low or high fan speed. Then your heat settings, you have low, medium, or high heat, as well as a cool shot button. So there's different ways to diffuse in general. And with this one, you could do all the different types of diffusing. The main one being plopping your hair into the bowl. Like, look, I could fit all of my hair in one scoop. <laughs> so if you diffuse like this and get that extra curl definition, especially if you have wavy hair, you can get all of your hair in here. If you want to hover, like I kind of do, you're covering a lot of area at one time. And if you want to stretch, it does have the prongs so you can pull down and stretch as well. Even though it's so large, it still is lightweight. It's not like heavy or like, you know, cumbersome. I don't know if this would be the most travel friendly diffuser. I mean, it is skinny if you take it off, but can't really say it's compact because <laughs> it's very large. But let's get started. I want to time this. Let's get the timer and see how fast it'll go from wet day one hair to completely dry. As I diffuse my hair, let me tell you a little bit more about the Diffusion Dryer and the XXL Diffuser. It is the biggest diffuser on the market. It's eight inches in size to cover as much hair as possible when hovering diffusing. The prongs have holes in them to help dry the scalp. There's no prongs in the middle to help reduce tangling, yet the prongs are long enough to stretch diffuse. This diffuser is extra gentle on the hair, so it dries the hair using low heat and a delicate airflow which then minimizes frizz and hair damage. It has a unique 360 airflow diffuser which wraps air around the curl for even drying. It has far infrared heat to penetrate the hair to reduce drying time and damage. It has a porcelain ceramic element to ensure even heat distribution so there's no hot spots. And it has an ionizing defrigion technology to help smooth the cuticles to boost shine and eliminate dehydration that causes frizz and static. And I could already tell that my curls do not feel dehydrated. Wait a minute, stop the clock. I just noticed something. It also has like a little stand here so your blow dryer can stand up on its own. So if you want to be hands-free, you technically could. Watch. That's pretty.
pretty cool. I do know a lot of girls that do the hands-free thing. I don't know how they keep their dryers up, but that was a cute little addition. Oh, look at the hair. I just looked at it. It's looking really good so far. It's looking really shiny. I don't see any frizz. Let's keep going. And time, 13 minutes. Pretty impressive going from wet to dry on day one hair. The hair is nice and bouncy, it's still very shiny, and there's no frizz. One of the main reasons people don't like to diffuse is because they said it makes their hair frizzy. I know, I've been there. I was diffusing wrong, and I also wasn't using a gel. So using a gel is very important when diffusing because it gives you that cast to protect your curls from holding that form before you start you know, going crazy. Now if I remember correctly, in my Dyson video, I think I diffused my hair in 10 minutes. But in that video, I think I had my diffuser on high heat setting and the high on the Dyson is too hot. Like I could like burn my hands if I use the high setting. So I don't think I used the high setting after that video. I just always kept it on the lowest one possible. And this time, oh, I just realized I was diffusing on medium heat. And I think the medium on this is perfect. Um, the hot does get hotter, but it's not like too hot, which I do think that Dyson does get if you use the high heat setting. And if you go too hot, that is how you could get damaged. If you keep it on hot for too long, you're not using your cool shot button. So whether you're using medium or high heat, hit this button a couple times just to cool down your hair. Um, but overall, I am very, very impressed. It dried very quickly. I was able to get beautiful curls even on day one. And I did notice that it did not snag my hair as much because the little prongs are wider in distance. And I don't know, it just did not snag as much as when I use my Dyson. So very impressive. Now the main thing I know you guys want to talk about. Bianca, how much does it cost? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Curl Smith Diffusion Blow Dryer Diffuser is $189. That's actually not bad when you think about how a lot of us spent $400 on the Dyson. That was one of my largest purchases. <laughs> and although it is great, that's a lot of money. And I know you guys often talk about the Curl Smith prices and their products, but for them to be more affordable than the Dyson and more affordable than the Shark, I think the Shark's like 200 something, 189? Not bad for the biggest diffuser on the market. And check this out. Not only does it have this attachment, it comes with this hair pick attachment. I have been wanting to get one of these for my Dyson, but it's another like $40. And I was like, I don't wanna spend another $40 for a little attachment. But with Curlsmith, it comes included. So you use this one to raise your roots and get more volume. Let's try it. Oh, okay, that works. It's basically like a hair pick attached to your blow dryer. Genius. Wow, that looks so good. I love it. Now let me go back in the box because it does come with a nozzle attachment. It says if you want to switch it up with a blowout or lend the dryer to a straight hair friend. <laughs> you know what option I want you to do. But no, whatever you want. I won't be using that one. It's already extremely shiny, but let's just be extra and add one little drop of the Curlsmith bonding oil just because I use it every day now and it just is my favorite smell of the world. Needless to say, am I impressed? <laughs> Very. I mean, look at my hair. You guys know how flat my hair can be on day one. So to go from wet to dry and get this much volume, have this much shine, and my hair to still feel like moisturized after. I mean, that could be a product thing, but it does not feel like completely stripped of all moisture because of the dryer that I used. So, I mean, I told you guys to save your money. I really like having a blow dryer made by a curly hair brand. I feel like they would just like get us and get the needs that we need for specifically for wavy, curly, or coily hair. And that would be like this big old diffuser, having wide prongs, having the correct type of heat settings that don't get too hot, have a cool shot button. 
having this pick detachment for volume included, like, I think that's just awesome. So let me know your thoughts below. Are you impressed by the new Curlsmith Defrision blow dryer and diffuser? Do you want to get one for yourself? Is your birthday coming? Do you need to play this video in front of a certain somebody that might be listening right now? Yeah. She wants it. I believe as of now, the Curlsmith Defrision is sold exclusively on the Curlsmith website. And there you have it. If you're thinking, well, I already have a diffuser and maybe you don't want to get it today. If you're using a diffuser, you should definitely be using a heat protector like I should have been this whole time. This is a great lightweight product to add to your routine to add an extra step of protection for your curls. This is your first time ordering from Curlsmith. You can get 10% off if you use my code Bianca10. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.